sugar and quick. <laughs> Go back like four. My players. man. You know it. Bro. My man. We probably bro. need a cigar right now. We do. We, we do. The perfect setting would have been a cigar yeah. right now. No you doubt. know what I'm saying? I'm no telling doubt. you. No doubt. Bro, can you imagine where we are now and where we started from in 2002 when you got to Baltimore? I know it's going to be special. Tell me. You know, we came from Miami. Right. And we was already in the training mentality, but you, I'm like, dude, my boy is eating right here. Oh, I know this is gonna be something real. Yeah. And what that turned into after. Yeah. What I think what amazed me was watching you in college, right? And the run you boys had in college, right? To put the U back where it was. And then I'm sitting there at home and you get drafted to Baltimore. Yeah. And a year before, I had just lost one of the greatest players I've ever played with was Rod. Rod, yep, I remember that. And I lose Rod, and Ozzy brings in Ed Reed. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there saying, do he know, or do the people know what just happened? Now, this is what's crazy to me, bro, about where our friendship went from there. When you go back in the history books, Baltimore, wherever you want to call out. The only players in NFL history to ever go back to back defensive players from the same team. Yeah. From where we started our training from, in 2003, I win it. 2004, Ed Reed win it. Yeah. That's when I sat back and I never forget when we sat there and I said, bro, we just done something that nobody has ever done in history. If you fast forward quick, mm -hmm. I just got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, big brother. When you hit me, I said, you next. Mm -hmm. The same back-to-back -back formula. Yeah. The same thing that we were trying to tell these kids on what a legacy looks like. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you as a man, as a brother, like, I played with a lot of dudes that I call great teammates. But my man, I'm telling you something. I was invincible when I had 20 behind me. But what we did in Baltimore, the days we had, and when we started getting our swagger going, you know, we always created it from Miami. And when we started creating that, then the vision became clear. We need a ring together. Yeah. Before you go. I never forget you say, bro, before you go, yeah. we got to get a ring together. Yeah. I would love to see another duo more dominant than 52 and 20, mm. the years that we had our run. No doubt. Right? And so, man, I just think when I reflect now, because that's what you do when you go in the hall, right? Mm -hmm. You reflect on every moment, on what those moments looked like, what those moments felt like. We lost in 2011. And I'll never forget that locker room. And I remember looking at you and I said, we're going to be back here. The same place. Yeah. This time we're going to finish it. Mm -hmm. and brother, See, we wanted it for the team. We wanted it for the team. I knew that tradition that we had from Miami was there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I knew your standard. Yeah. I don't think many people knew that. Right. Or even when they did know, they just ain't have that work ethic that we came from. Mm -hmm. That's what separated us. Those days in Miami. Yeah. That came with me to Baltimore. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember somebody asking me, how is it you and Ray in the same locker room? You know, y'all both leaders, that's going to you vocal, you vocal. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, nah, that's that's big bro. Right. You know, I remember the days, I mean, I'm at your house, sleep and watching tape. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a pup. And I remember sitting on your stairs one night before I left and you, you know, outside of telling me to just believe and trust what you watch on tape, you know, is, man, you gotta work hard. Hmm. You know, drink your gallon of water, you got a gallon of water in front of you right now. I remember that. It's the little things that's gonna make you great. Mm -hmm. It's the little things that's gonna help us win a championship. So I was just storing that stuff up, yeah. you know, for when it, my time, should I say, to be a leader. Yeah. 
I can't say I didn't foresee us, you know, winning the championship. I can't say I didn't foresee us yeah, being, me either. being mm -hmm. some of the greats mm -hmm. because I knew my work ethic yeah. and I already knew what you was doing to some degree yeah. until I really knew and then I was like, oh, this is a no brainer. <laughs> and it's gonna be trouble if we get certain pieces around us. And when Joe, I remember when Joe Flacco came and you probably remember, we called the blitz against Joe. And instead of Joe reading it or throwing the interception, Joe took the ball, took a snap, and threw it straight into the wall. We was like, we got something. We got the quarterback we need. You know, so in that Super Bowl year, I don't think nobody ever truly believed, I mean, outside of the focus that we had leading up to it, how yeah. we worked out, the reps, how we pushed each other every day. That had already happened. Mm -hmm. So Super Bowl year, every practice, every week, every month, all the way up until the Super Bowl, we did the same exact stuff. Same exact thing. You know, so to go back to that speech you gave me on the steps, it was the little things. Little things. You know, that helped helped all of us, man, yeah. get to that point. You know, you was the leader, you was the ultimate leader, yeah. you know. From, from how do you define, how does, how do you define greatness? Greatness is, is enduring, hmm. it's perseverance, you know, through, through it all, man. It's, it's so much that comes at you to be great. You know, I can imagine, I think about, you know, person who I idolized, Michael Jordan. Yeah. And the stuff he went through to become that dog mm -hmm. in the league. Pistons forming, you know, got Pittsburgh coming at us constantly. Yeah. You know, you got Magic them, he going to the hole, he can't get there. Right. Got the Colts. Two years later, it's the Patriots. Right. So for me, it's perseverance, man. It's enduring, it's going through. You know what I'm saying? It's it's and it's it's daily. Yeah. Man, I didn't play football. I played a lot of football. Yeah. You know, people ask me all the time, man, how you made them plays? Dude, I've been playing football since I was in my mom. <laughs> right. You know, so that wasn't the question, but I've seen guys work, man. I know how we worked at Miami, man, and and I can I can think of all type of names and I know they dogs and Hall of Famers, but nobody. Nobody I've seen really do some stuff that you've done, bro. And you still here, <laughs> you still <laughs> wearing the weight vest, man. So I'm like, you know, you can't come back. They got you, bro. <laughs> T.O. don't want to go because he want to play some more. Right. Nah, bro, go get your jacket, go man. It's done. Jacket. The days are done. Right. You know, but nah, bro, for me, your name would come up in greatness. Yeah. You know, and that's not just because you're sitting in front of me, that's because I know the football, I know the man, I know the work, I know your heart. Yeah. When it came to your teammates, when it came to football, you know, you get your, you get your shirt off your back to the person if you had to, yeah. you know, so. But greatness for me, man, when it was talking for what we talking about, yeah. yeah, your name is in that, no doubt, man. Yeah. You know, I, I think about, Greatness from this standpoint, brother, seriously. Greatness is the most loneliest thing that you'll ever do. But it's the most consistent thing that you have to commit to. What we started and what we finished for Ravens Nation, let me tell you something. If you don't ever do nothing else, take a walk in that city mm -hmm. and see what type of love you feel from that city. Because yeah. that's what greatness is. Greatness is inspiring those that hope is lost. Mm -hmm. When you travel the streets, there are stories that you will never know that change people's lives. Yeah. Games, plays. Quick. I know what you're saying, bro. Quick. I'm going to tell you the honest God and truth. 
I would love to see another duo that was more dominant than this duo. Mm -hmm. You talking about greatness. Greatness, bro. Stacked on top of each other day after day, month after month, surgery after surgery, up after up, down after down. And boy, we persevere. Yeah. Still here. Greatness ain't no one phase. Man, you know how many times I failed? <laughs> Keep on living. Keep on living. <laughs> Old people say. Keep on living. Yeah. No doubt. But what has happened, and I wrap it up with this, man. When this hall comes, this day comes, everybody that I got there had an intricate part in my life. And man to man, I don't know if I would have had as much fun and if I would have kept being as passionate as I was if I didn't play with you as a teammate, as brother to brother. I'm telling you, man, I watch films of us now, boy, and I get teary-eyed because nobody don't know the sacrifice. I died there on that gridiron for 20. I'm still telling them, telling them stories, man. Hey. Still telling them stories. I, I can't stop telling them. <laughs> still got that ab sheet, Monty. I still oh. got it. We still got it. We still got it. Yeah. Man, I remember we spinning in your um, gym in your house. <laughs> Just the first time. Dude, I'm hurt. <laughs> It's just like, come on, man. Oh, down. What, man, what is this? What are we doing? It's going to be, you're going to be right. You're going to be right. No, I don't, I'm not right right now. <laughs> there was nothing we didn't try yeah, to man. be great. That's true, man. That's what I love about what, what greatness really is. There was nothing we did not try to be great. I think we tried everything it was to be great. Yeah. And that's what now Franco Harris looked at me and Derek Brooks looked at me and Marcus Allen and all these guys, man. And they said, welcome home. Welcome home. And bro, I know you got a minute, but I'm telling you now, I'm looking at these two jerseys, 52 and 20, but I'm telling you something. Welcome home. Bro. Welcome home. I'm gonna represent this gold jacket because greatness don't stop once you understand it's a lifestyle. Right. We made it a lifestyle, my brother. No doubt. I appreciate you, boy. Man, let's go get us a cigar. Let's go get us a cigar. Ah, my man.